Well, Abby, from what we could tell, there was no specific agenda item or, or topic that was discussed during this morning's meeting. What brought people out today was to voice their support or opposition to Superintendent Ryan Walters. You're trying to indoctrinate our kids with, you know, the Bible and your religion, and it's supposed to be freedom of religion. Ryan Walters, I voted for him. I support him 110% and that's why I'm here. Oklahomans lining up as early as 6 in the morning to get a seat inside the Board of Education meeting room. Capacity standards enforced so stringently that state fire marshals were even on hand to make sure limits were followed. Supporters lined the hall to cheer on State Superintendent Ryan Walters as he arrived. But beyond the spectacle, the meeting was rather standard for what we have seen under the Walters administration. Public comment. The goal of the NEA is to queer all children. I am pleading with you as a parent and as an Oklahoman, stop the insanity. Followed by a review of education business in the state. While nearly all school districts maintained their accreditation, Walters singled out Tulsa Public Schools. The board agreeing to delay a decision on Tulsa's accreditation status until next month. Walters says a district status needs to be reconsidered. Tulsa Public Schools has been plagued with scandal. They've been one of the worst performing schools in the state of Oklahoma. Walter is not ruling out completely taking away the district's accreditation, which could be a catastrophic blow to the state's largest school system. Tulsa, for their part, argues the superintendent is unfairly targeting their district. And as we mentioned in that story, we expect the board to revisit the topic of the status for Tulsa Public Schools sometime next month. That meeting is actually scheduled for late August. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO. Five news.